Hello Explorers, welcome back. If I look a bit hot and sweaty, it's because I've been doing a lot of walking already this morning. Today, we are going to walk around Chow Kit, which is a very popular area of the city. You're gonna see a real mix of the cultures and the atmosphere of the place. I've been here before, if you watch my Chow Kit Market video, which I'll leave a link to below and also above, you can check that out after you've watched this exploring walking video. It is an area that I've not really explored before, to be completely honest, other than going to the market. But as you can see, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Kuala Lumpur. And today is Saturday, so I'm expecting it to be quite busy as we walk around, which is good. You'll really get to experience the atmosphere of the place. My first observation as we are walking around is in this area, there's lots of toy shops. And here we've got a mix of new and old. We've got the old Chinese shop houses and the skyscrapers. So I've just come off the main roads to have a wander around the local community. Just got chatting to a group of Malaysian guys. We're sort of friendly around here. But I thought I'd come just to give you an idea of the housing and the local area. So one side you've got these typical Malay houses and the other side you've got these apartment complexes, huge apartment complexes. So we're just on the edge of Chow Kit right now. And this is my kind of exploring, not in those expat areas as we explored the other day. The sun is not in the right direction at the moment. I'm struggling to film a little bit, but just capturing what I discover as I'm walking around this local neighborhood. Makes you wonder how all this tree is. Sometimes the sun just gets in way of my exploring and filming, but these are the houses really. Got lots of character local housing here in Kuala Lumpur. Now, usually I wouldn't film stuff like this because of the shade and the light. <laughs> But I'm trying my best to get over the perfectionism. So we are back on the main street. Dental surgery here, but I've got to say the smells again. Oh man, so, so good. These guys are putting all the bikes together. I massage and a telephone number. I keep wandering down these side streets, just looking at the reflection on this building here. Hope it's been picked up on the video. I guess I must be in the business district at the moment because lots of skyscrapers. As you can see. Not too sure if the camera's picking it up, but right in the distance there, we've got the Petronas Twin Towers. And for the last 10 minutes, I've been walking completely the wrong direction. So I think we're back on track now. For those that don't know, there's actually a free bus that runs around the city. Now we're heading in the right direction. You can see that the traffic is a little bit busier down here. We're getting into the centre of Chow Kit. Oh my God, baby shark everywhere. That song is so annoying. I love this pink building in the background there with the detailed sides on the roof. It's a really interesting building. I am just literally wandering all over the place today. <laughs> As you can see, the traffic is pretty busy. And that there is the Chow Kit monorail station. Hmm, this smells and looks delicious. So we're now in what I would call the main area of Chow Kit. And around here, you'll see lots of different types of food. We've got Pakistani, Malaysian. And you can see why being near the public transport is really important. If you were getting a taxi in this traffic, it would take you forever to get around. 
A few people in my last video were asking why there's so many lanterns out at the moment with well, Chinese New Year coming up next week. Lots of local fruit here, we've got corn that's been prepared. And if you are looking for areas to come walk in Kuala Lumpur, I definitely recommend Chow Kit. Get off at the monorail station and just walk around the streets. Lots of jewellery and mobile phone shops as we walk around here. Also lots of food places around here. Also lots of these little stalls. I think this is selling ice drinks. Loving the street art here. Whilst I'm walking around the streets, my stomach is just continuously grumbling. This is why you need to explore the side streets. Forget the main streets, just wander around all these little areas. Sharpening some scissors there. It really, it's just a hive of activity around here and anything is for sale. Looks like it might rain. And you can see the monorail track right here, literally running down the street. So as you can see, just got shops running all the way down here, clothing, sportswear, jewelry shops. Just keeps going and going all the way down. So much to see and buy here. You can see the monorail, it's just going to come over the top of us in about 10 seconds or so. There it comes. So this street is the Larong Turunku Abdul Rahman. As I said earlier, just everything and anything for sale here in Chow Kit. Again, you might be able to make out the Petronas Twin Towers there in the background. And I'm loving this street art. Respect. There's one for Chow Kit, Kale Bird Park, food. Love this art. Yeah, this street art is really good. This is the start of Chow Kit Wet Market. If you haven't watched my video on that, I'm going to leave a link down in the description and also above. Very busy today with all the locals out shopping. <laughs> such an interesting place to explore so many characters so much to look at the smells are oh, the smells are incredible i suppose this is one of the reasons why i love kuala lumpur you've just got a mix of different cultures in one place got more of the local fruit i think we've got apricots and bananas here We've also got mango stains and lemons, I think. So yeah, lots of local fruits.
loving the architecture around here, just so much character in the buildings. Well explorers, I'm back in my apartment and I'm going to end the video by asking a huge, huge favour. I know that those of you who are watching this video right now are my super explorers. You are the people that comment, that like, that share my videos, but I need to ask another huge favour. And I don't ask for many favours, but I'm wanting to reach 10,000 subscribers and I know it's just a number because 10,000 people don't watch my videos but it will open up new doors for me it will allow me to go to YouTube spaces all over the world especially in London and learn about filmmaking and storytelling and editing I can go on these courses the free of charge I will be able to you know, network with other video creators and it's something that I really want to do. I want to continue to improve my content and inspire and motivate people. That is my goal for this channel. Either inspire you to make changes in your life and become a remote worker or inspire and motivate you to travel, whichever. And I really need your help. And the way that you can help me is by simply going to either a recent video, i.e. today's video, or a video that you really enjoyed on my channel. Share it with family and friends on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, apps like WhatsApp, just share it as much as you can and I will incredibly, incredibly appreciate that. It will mean the world to me because it means that I'm getting to that goal that I want to achieve and I want to achieve that by the end of March. So we have two months to achieve that goal. So, yes, if you can help me out, please do. And for that, I'm going to finish the video here for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribing to the channel, maybe you're just coming and watching the videos every now and again, please do subscribe. And I shall see you all very soon with a new video from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Take care.